Questions for Year 12 Special it comes out of MAV 2020, question 6C. Okay, so I know from part B, because it's a show that, so I'm going to use previous information. And this is what we found in part B. And now we're told that sine of x equals p. So sine of x, this is what p equals. So I'm going to do a substitution. I'm going to put this where p appears and show that I get an answer of 0. So e to the i x squared minus 2i times 1 on 2i e to the i x minus e to the minus i x minus 1 equals 0. So you'll notice that these will cancel. And I've lost an e to the i x. So I get e to the i x squared minus this times this gives me e to the i x squared. So they're the same thing. And then minus minus plus e to the minus i x times e to the i x minus 1 equals 0. Uh, we add these powers, so e to the 0 minus 1 equals 0. They cancel themselves. 1 minus 1 equals 0, 0 equals 0, therefore shown. OK. And the next part, by def I know from the previous question that the sine of x equals p. Therefore, x will equal the inverse sine of p. And that's what I've got to show in this particular case. Um, in the previous question, I was given this equation. So that's what I'm going to work with. They must have given me the equation for some reason. So I've got e to the i x squared minus 2p i e to the i x minus 1 equals 0. And I'm going to use the quadratic formula. So a equals 1, b equals minus 2p i, and c equals negative 1. So e to the i x is going to equal. Now keep in mind that I'm going to try and solve for this, and that's the same as solving for x. So I'd like to solve this for x. Um, so it's minus b, so 2pi plus or minus the square root of minus 2pi squared minus 4 times 1 times minus 1, all over 2. So it's going to equal 2pi plus or minus the square root of um, 4p squared i squared plus 4 all over 2, which equals 2pi plus or minus 2 square root of 1 minus p squared by turning the i squared into negative all over 2, which gives me pi plus or minus the square root of 1 minus p squared. Now, I know that p equals 0 when x equals 0. And I know that e to the 0, sorry, e to the 0 equals 0 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 0. Therefore, for 1 to equal 1, I, can, I need the positive square root, not the negative square root. So what have I got? I've got e to the i x equals p i plus the square root of 1 minus p squared. Therefore, x i equals log base e of p i plus the square root of 1 minus p squared. Always keep in mind of what you're looking for. So x equals 1 on i log base e of p i plus the square root of 1 minus p squared. Now, 1 on i, if I times by i on i, gives me i on top of i squared, which is negative i. So negative i log base e of p i plus the square root of 1 minus p squared is what x is. And x is the same as the inverse sine of p, which is what I had to show. 
So that's done.